So we're continuing our trip to uh, Bowling Green and uh, of course um, Tropical Storm, uh, I guess now Tropical Storm Francine was Hurricane Francine is, is going to make life just utterly uh, I guess miserable because that is that's what we got so Hopefully hopefully for the best maybe they'll be wrong like they usually are when they uh, when uh, they do uh, their forecast because um, they usually are. Uh, well, we have about an hour and a half to go, and uh, so we are in Bowling Green, and uh, we are going to be going into uh, Beach Bend uh, Raceway, and this entrance is wild because you have to go over the Barren River. And you drive over hill over dale and it's actually kind of really neat so see so i got the car behind me which you know it's so weird you look back and you just see a car following you the entire freaking time it's pretty funny so we're coming up on the uh turn there's also railroad tracks too and there's the there's the barren river right there yeah. Well, good, it's not that high. This racetrack won't be on the water. And it's downtown over there. And then we drive over hill, over dale. And then this road is just crazy. Oh. I just have a normal sized trailer. I, I mean, I can't imagine these guys with these race trailers that have motorhomes pulling them. That this has got to just be like, wow. Hey, look, a roller coaster. Eee. Video doesn't do the justice of how absolutely incredibly steep this is. My truck's in second. My truck's in second gear. They keep me from rolling away. Okay. And then here we go. There's the. Just did uh registration down here at the uh, at Mopar. He was freaking awesome. You just they have everything on computers and they give you your, your packet of crap. And uh, it's actually uh, pretty now I got to go find a way to park my uh, car, get it unloaded and pray it doesn't rain. And sitting there, you know, going to go go find a church and light a dozen candles, I guess. See, and there's the amusement park that uh, right along the Never open, I guess, when I'm we're here. It's so weird. So, maybe it closes September. Yeah. So, but already, already, there's just this. I mean, it's Thursday at noon, and it's already all these cars, and a lot of them have already left and go down to the park. So, it's pretty neat. A few moments later. <laughs> so, we're uh, finally in. There's the autocross area. And, uh, here is, uh, start of the, the pits. I got a spot held for me, thank God. I need to get me a bicycle like that guy has. 
But yeah, there's the drag strip. Yeah, you see over there is where the swap area is, and then the car show goes over there. So people are setting up the swap area right now. Well, thankfully, uh, meteorologist means liar in uh, English because I'm at Beach Bend uh, at Mo Party, getting ready to uh, drag race. And uh, there is Blue Sky. And so this is uh, this is a great thing, even though I see a rainbow in the distance. Yeah. Maybe that's a good thing. That's the happiness, right? The rainbow in the distance. So yeah, we're uh, first day of Mo Party, and we're all teched. We're gonna go through the. Uh, we're gonna do our first run in the morning, hopefully, and. Uh, and we're gonna go through swap meet area. And that'll be kind of cool. We're gonna do a walk through there. This has been great, man. Absolutely just wonderful. This is an this is a great experience. These types of shows you, if you have an old car you need to come to. Because there's a lot of everything here. And there's there's survivor cars, we're gonna go through that. And uh, there's all drag cars here, like real drag cars, like those things, like over there. Or that thing over there. You know, people that like to beat up on Hellcats. So yeah, this is going to be uh, a fun day, and so, you know what? Any even the worst day here is still a better day than working, I guess. So, uh, yep, we're all ready to rock and roll. Oh, we're we're day, uh, day one in Mo Party, and we got all spectators already here behind the the train. Attention in the pit! Attention in the pit! Oh, there's an announcement. Racers, the drag strip is looking good, and we may even start a little bit early. So. Couple cool. of announcements for the drag racers. First and foremost, if you need fuel, fuel shed is open. Go ahead and head up there and get your fuel taken care of. If you still need to tech in, tech is happening at the scale station right at now. the far end of the track. That would be the little red shed so. just off the right side of the track. So this is really positive. They're announcing and we're going to be starting soon and I'm excited. Right, I'm, I'm going we're fifth. We're going to start with Rumble. So. So this is not a call for the lanes yet. This is just a heads up. This is great. Rumble would be the first class, and will be followed by Street King, then Hemi Superstock, Dragon Drive, and Grudge Test and Tune. That's our Beautiful. early lead. So Rumble and Street King. This is not a call to the lane jet, but this is a warning. You may want to go ahead and cool. start getting your gear together. All right, we're getting ready. Now, I bet everybody out there is asking, so Dennis, did uh, this comment age well from your previous video? I can't wait. I can't. I just hope that the rain holds off because I'm going to do so much better than I did last year. Because I, I have eight cylinders now, not, not seven, with, with oil being sucked in all through a cylinder. I guess not because um, I'm going to show you the aftermath and there is a, a video here showing why this is like this yeah and there's a 
Oh, there's the rest of the engine. Oh, wait, there's some more of the engine. Yes. Um, yeah, there was a slight issue. So, uh, my fastest time was a 15, 128. I misshifted. I uh, actually missed going into third and uh, probably cost myself doing a 14.9, which, I mean, it's small victory, I guess, um, but it didn't happen. So then I started chasing my tail and started tuning, trying to tune the car, and the car progressively ran slower and slower. I'll put all these, I'll put all these up at the end of the video uh, because, yeah. So, it was still fun. I still ran eight times in uh, two and a quarter days. Heck, if I'd been able to stay around on Sunday, I probably would have ran another four more times. And honestly, what had happened to the car wasn't going to hurt it. So, I had a lot of fun. If you don't go to this event because of it's a far drive or it might rain or whatever... You're really missing out on a heck of a lot of fun. And the drag racing, no matter how poorly you do, is still a lot of fun. And I didn't really break anything. It's just that something went wrong. And it had to do with oil in the cylinder. Little, little thing there. So I, I, ha I just, I, I, this is like the greatest. I can't wait to go back next year and hopefully not have any issues uh, with the car running. Yay. But uh, actually, even before that, they're opening a track north of me, and it's an eighth of a mile, but there is now going to be test in tune with this car, because I am going to figure out why. And I think I have to shoot for a, um, like, sub-nine second eighth of a mile, like eight-something, to, uh, that's just the goal, probably like an eight and a half in the eighth. But yeah, that's that's that was my drag racing experience. That was the experience doing all this the the car thing at um, Mo Party. Awesome event, and I, I once again tell people please just go to it. Wear rebel flags if you want. Do whatever you know if you want to protest, but make the event keep going on because if the event goes away, it never comes back. And just remember that these these things if they don't make money, if they don't have people go. No one goes to it, and the event goes away, and then you lose something to go to. With that, uh, thanks for watching. As always, comments. I love your comments. I know I'm going to get a ton on this this thing running like a dog again. Even though I look back in older uh, road tests, and this car actually running poorly was still faster than a 400 four-barrel in road test back in the day, because those ran 16 seconds. So I guess there's something there. Yeah, and as always, no matter how poorly it runs, or how it looks, or whatever, take out your classic car. Because you will make someone's day, maybe even your own, and I'll catch you down the road.